If you work in a factory and produce a physical product, it's pretty easy to measure how you're doing at the end of an hour, at the end of a shift, or at the end of a day. You can actually count how many good products come off the line and compare that to the amount of products you should have produced if you had no scrap, no downtime, and ran at full speed. But if you work in a service organization or an idea generating organization, the contribution is not as easy to measure. Well, this is the problem that we were trying to solve with Armstrong World Industries Global Technology Group. So we had four value streams, research and development, new product development, capital projects, and business and operation support. And with limited resources available, all requests for funding or people had to be justified. So we realized we needed to create a measure of value across all value streams, all four, that was consistent so that we could make the best business decisions for the overall business. Now in a factory, we had a measure called plant reliability. And the idea was that you could never be above 100% and no lower than 0% in any given hour, shift, or day. And that you really couldn't game the system and different locations could compare themselves to each other even though they made different products at different rates. Well, this was a concept we wanted to try across our four value streams. So we had to come up with one metric that made sense across all four. And as it turns out, we were able to find one. And the, the metric was net present value. And the idea was the work we were doing had a net present value, meaning if it delivered money in the future to the business, we could figure out what was it worth at the beginning of the project. Now, if you're an R&D, that's going to be further in the future than if you're delivering a capital project. But the good news is they all are able to measure their contribution in terms of net present value. So what we did was all four value streams worked internally to develop their calculation around net present value. And once they were able to do that and we all aligned and understood it, we created a leadership board, a leadership board that displayed the net present value that each value stream was able to contribute to the overall technology group. Now, once we were able to do that, business decisions for resourcing and funding became logical and financial in nature rather than emotional and, and relationship, relational in nature. So now we were going from gut feel and emotion to fact-based and data-driven. And what that allowed us to do in the coming years was allocate our resources and invest in a more business-like fashion. And it made those decisions much simpler to make, aligning our teams very strongly and making better decisions for the overall business. I hope this story provided you with some inspiration to revisit your own processes. I have a lot more I'd like to share. Head over to pi-partners.com to learn how I can help. And check back from time to time for more Kaizen stories.